What's your first impression seeing these pictures? Details? Contrasts? Absurd? Busy? Fun? These are cover art for the American band Dance Gavin Dance, made by Swedish illustrator Matthias Adolfsson. He has made art for all of the band's albums since their first one. I find the parallels between his art and the band's music fascinating. Starting out, the density of Adolfsson's style might be overwhelming for some. This is also often cited as a reason that some people find it hard to get into Dance Gavin Dance's music. They might perceive that there is too much going on with all the instruments and different vocals. However, if you dig a bit deeper, you quickly see that the art is clearly detailed and that everywhere you focus your attention, there's always something new to discover. This is reflected in the band's music with how you notice new details every time you listen to a song. The arrangement and mixing of the guitars in particular provide clarity to the band's dense soundscape. Will Swan is a master at crafting different guitar parts that seamlessly fit together. Sometimes two different guitar parts even sound like they're played on one instrument. Additionally, the mixing decision to often pan different parts to the left and right speakers, instead of double tracking everything, brings more clarity to each part and the rest of the mix. This gives the listener a better experience and makes it easier to pick up on different elements in the music. Contrast is an important part of Adolfsson's art, both in use of color to make details pop, but also in mood and setting. Let's use the band's 2020 album Afterburner as an example. The setting resembles some kind of hell, which stands in stark contrast to the whimsical design of the background characters. Moreover, the juxtaposition between the big robotic ox character in the center and the smaller animalistic characters in the background is a defining part of this piece. Nowhere is Dance Gavin Dance's use of contrast more apparent than in their use of both harsh vocals and singing. <laughs> It is a defining part of the band that has been with them through different albums and lineup changes. They also use drastic changes in dynamics to great effect in many songs. They can suddenly go from a part with the whole band into something with just one guitar and vocals. Fun and Whimsy is a big part of Adolfsson's art. Seeing many of his illustrations, you can't help but crack a smile. This comes from a lot of things. Choice of color, character designs, settings he puts characters in, etc. Absurd fun is what I'd use to describe many of his pieces. We see this in both the covers for Downtown Battle Mountain 2 and Jackpot Juicer. Downtown Battle Mountain 2's background is a busy city in black and white. This is contrasted with a foreground of colorful, futuristic looking people hovering around on different animals like flying cars. Jackpot Juicer features butt naked fruits and vegetables. If you look past the fully dressed strawberry couple and the fact that all the produce is wearing boots, drinking and gambling to their heart's content in a casino. This absurd fun is also reflected in much of Dance Gavin Dance's music. They seem to have a relaxed relationship with writing music, meaning that they like to experiment with different things to make their songs more fun and interesting. Just look for something cool, and if it works, it works, and yeah. I don't like to think about it too hard. Their use of abrupt tempo changes and different genres within the same song is an example of this. Especially John Messes at times weird lyrics show that the band is not too uptight about their music. Wendy's spicy chicken nuggets are back! As I wrap up this video, I'd like to highlight that if you've been captivated by Adolfsson's art, you'll be pleased to know that he runs an online shop where you can get prints of his artwork. 
In fact, you can even buy the original cover art for Dance Gavin Dance's live album, Tree City Sessions 2. I personally own several prints for him that I've displayed around my place. They're high quality and look good in the frame. He even includes a personal message and a small drawing with your order. Be sure to check out his shop linked in the description. And while you're at it, feel free to explore more of my video essays in this playlist.